Hey guys, the light's not great, but I'm here now. So let's see if anybody turns up. Let's see if YouTube works. So, right, we've got two, three. Whoever's just turned up and clicked like, I'm really grateful. Salut, Didi. So, those who are going to do the lesson, ceux qui vont faire le cours, can you send me a message? So, uh, can you send me a message? Um, those who are going to do the uh, the lesson. Which means those who are going to translate something. Qui veut dire ceux qui vont traduire quelque chose? Hi, Israel. Uh, Beleth, do you want to join? Would you like to send me a WhatsApp? Uh, and you can do the translation. I will give you translation to do if you want to message me. <laughs> Hi, Kayek. So anybody who's taking part, ceux qui vont faire le cours, please send me a message now. Merci de m'envoyer un message maintenant. Uh, je suis ici. Don't be lazy, Troy. Je suis ici. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Um, DD, that's lovely. Uh, somebody sent me a message in the group, not in the group, Troy. An individual fucking message. Okay? Not in the group. Not in the group. Because people who don't do the class one week do not want to keep being disturbed and bothered. On veut pas parce que ça va gêner. That's going to annoy people. Okay? Ça va énerver. If I was them, I that would annoy me. So send me a private message, Troy. Right, and then we're ready to get started. So at the moment, the only person who I've got doing it is Dee Dee. I think Troy is doing it, but she's not messaged me. No, no, Dee Dee. Listen, right, guys, let me explain and for once and for all. The group. The WhatsApp group is just a group where I just message people in a group situation to tell them I'm coming online. If you are subscribed to my channel, there is no more information on that than there is on YouTube. To take part in the class, you WhatsApp me privately. Okay? It doesn't make any difference about being in the group. All right? So, Troy, I'm expecting a message from Troy. She hasn't managed it yet, or at least it hasn't come through. What's going on? That's it, Troy. You've managed it. That's it. Excellent. So I've got Troy. I've got Dee Dee. I've got Cherry. I've got Marcy. Uh, lovely. God. So I'll make it clear one more time. If you want to be part of the group, that's just a way for me to say, hey guys, I'm starting in half an hour. C'est juste ma manière de vous dire que je vais bientôt commencer. If you are not on, in the group on WhatsApp, it doesn't matter. Ça ne change rien. Ça ne change rien. The only thing the group does is a way for me to say, hey guys, I'm starting in half an hour. If you are subscribed, yeah, yeah, si vous êtes abonné, or inscrit à ma chaîne, then it doesn't change anything. No, you just just need you just need WhatsApp to message me privately. Right, off we go. So uh, let's start giving people stuff. So uh, right, so Troy, for you to translate. Can I also remind everybody, before you send me the vocal translation, avant de m'envoyer la traduction vocale, you're going to tell me in English what I gave you to translate. So you're going to either read in English or type in English, preferably read what translation I'm giving you, okay? Okay? Um, uh, Kayek, if you don't, you, if you haven't got something, you say, uh, je n'ai pas... 
put something. So I haven't got WhatsApp. Je n'ai pas de WhatsApp. Okay? So this is for Troy. Uh, I really wanted to uh, do it last week. And although we have talked about it before, I uh, wasn't before, and I was supposed to sign up. It didn't happen. And then just the just it hadn't happened. Just give me that as well. That's for Troy to translate. Okay. Uh, next up, we've got Didi. Didi, can you remind me your level? Didi, I know it's just the YouTube tube problems we've been having, Ziad. Didi, can you uh, remind me your level? Just close the window. Didi, can you intermediate? Okay, Didi. I am happy to be here with you, Luke. But I want to know what you were doing before uh, turning up here today. Your life interests me. Okay, that's for Didi. Um, Sherry, I, if I had known that Luke were teaching, I would have cancelled what I, cancelled in English spelling has two L's, in American spelling has one most of the time, so don't think I'm being stupid. Ne pense pas que je sois bête, I'd have cancelled what I was in the middle of doing. Um, it's great that um, it happened like this. That's the cherry. Roxian, are you are you going to be? Do you want to message me? Do you want something to translate? Um, Marcy, Luke, what a pleasure to see you. I am going to try to use all the tenses. Which ones? The ones you gave me last time. That's for Martin. Uh, um, who else? Somebody message me. Their number ends 285. They told me they're an A-level student. I know they're an A-level student because they haven't managed to say, hello, my name is. That tells me that they are 18 to 25 with no social skills. This person is very welcome in our class, but I wish, they'd, I wish everybody would learn the manners to say, hi, Luke, my name is, rather than I would like to do the class because I have no idea who you are. Do I? Je n'ai aucune idée. Tu viens de m'envoyer un message. Je ne sais pas. Je ne, je ne te connais pas. I don't know you. So whoever you are, two eight uh, five, um, the A level student. By all means, please. You're very very welcome. Avec plaisir. Avec plaisir. But you need to introduce yourself. Tu as besoin de te présenter. Please. I'm not. I, you know who is this? Please, 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 please. Just, just give me a name, right? Uh, who else is waiting for one? Uh, Troy's got one. Didi's got one. Um, Gabriel's got one. Uh, today, Gabriel. Gabriel's the new one. Okay, Gabriel. Instead of arriving uh, fifteen minutes ago, Gabriel. Um, just that I am online. I hope he enjoyed himself doing what he was doing before turning up. That's for Gabriel. 
right? Okay. My A-level person, you are very welcome. I just need to know who you are. Sam, lovely Sam. Excellent. Sam, lovely. Are you a girl, Sam, or a boy, Sam? Sam, this is for Sam. Okay. So, Sam. I am sorry that I didn't do it. That, that um, we didn't meet in the correct way. And I will stop doing something weird. I will behave normally. That's um, before continuing it. Before continuing to uh, learn it. I know that's a bit odd. That's for Sam. So everybody give me the English before you give me the thing. God, Roxian, you're weird with your bloody names. You're weird with your names. T'as bizarre avec tes traînons. Um, uh, lovely. Uh, send me a message, Debbie. Send me a message. Send me a WhatsApp message. I, I will do it for you. Yeah? Of course you can. Right. So we've got... Um, uh, Debbie, send me a message. All right? So off we go. Let's listen. Dee Dee. Good. So Dee Dee's work was, I am happy to be here with you, Luke, but I want to know what you were doing before turning up here today. Your life interests me. It's pretty boring, really, but <laughs> it's just a bit of French. Lovely. So basically, not, not bad at all, Dee Dee. Je suis heureuse. So the same vowel twice. Heureux. Like je veux. Heureuse. If that bothers you, je suis contente. But don't stop. So Dee Dee, you've got an exceptionally good R. Heureuse. But don't give me an R and then stop in between words. Keep the air going. So je suis heureuse d'être ici avec toi. You can vous voir me. You don't need to, vous, you don't need to, you can chew to me. Sorry, you don't need to move on me. But I want to know, mais je veux savoir ce que. Now, Dee Dee, let's make this really clear, guys. If you are asking the question, what were you doing? That would be qu'est-ce que. If you are not, or tu faisais quoi. If you are not asking a question with what, you use ce que or ce qui. If it's followed by a verb rather than a person doing a verb. So, for example, um, what, what are you doing, Troy? Qu'est-ce que tu fais? I don't know what you are doing. Je ne sais pas ce que tu fais. So this isn't a question here, Dee Dee. So um, je ne sais pas ce que tu... Uh, je veux savoir ce que tu were doing, ce que tu faisais. Avant de... Now, before coming, avant de venir, but let's try and use some phrases. Avant de t'y rendre. Render yourself there. Avant de t'y rendre, avant de venir... Ta vie m'intéresse. An, an, an. Remember, Dee Dee, the uh, vin, the wine, okay? And uh, ta is the same pronunciation, ta, all right? So can you give me that again, Dee Dee, just the pronunciation? Could you say that again? Je suis heureuse d'être ici avec vous, avec toi, Luc, mais je veux savoir ce que tu faisais avant de venir ici aujourd'hui. Ta vie m'intéresse. All right? Same thing again. Just the speaking, Dee Dee, and then I will give you some more. All right? Good. Nice start. Good. Uh, lovely. Um, uh, next one. Um, Debbie, uh, can you remind me your level, Debbie? Debbie, can you remind me your level? Uh, Cherry? If I had known Luke were teaching, I would have cancelled what I was in the middle of doing. It's great that it happened like this. I think I then gave you something else on the end of it, Cherry. I think I then gave you... Uh... Oh, no, I didn't. So I apologise.
Lovely. So not a bad attempt, Cherry. So you gave me si j'avais su que Luc enseigné. That's lovely. J'aurais dû. Now, guys, it's great that you are comfortable going j'aurais pu and j'aurais dû. But that is would have and should have. There are plenty of other verbs that we can use with the would have. So you only use j'aurais dû and aurais pu if you're saying I should have and I could have. If you're saying I would have, you're going to say j'aurais and then straight into the past of that verb. So, for example, I should have cancelled, j'aurais dû annuler. I could have cancelled, j'aurais pu annuler. I would have cancelled, j'aurais annulé. Straight into it, okay? Um, ce que, lovely, you worked it out, lovely. Ce que j'étais en train de faire. It's great, c'est fantastique, c'est chouette, whatever you came up with. Que, now, lovely. If you said it happened, ça s'est passé. Donc, c'est fantastique que ça, ça se soit passé. You've got to get me in the double, so and the soit. So, well done for knowing soit. Well done for knowing extra verb, Cherry. But c'est fantastique que ça se soit passé. Ça se soit passé. Three words beginning with a sound. Ça s'est passé, the reflexive past. Ça se soit passé. So, just give me the pronunciation of all of that again, Cherry, and I will give you your next bit. All right? So one more time, just get that right. So, si j'avais su que Luc enseignait, j'aurais annulé ce que j'étais en train de faire. C'est fantastique que ça se soit passé like that. Ainsi, A-I-N-S-I, or comme ça. Ainsi is a great, great, great word. It can use, mean different things. If you want to know more about ainsi, can you email me and I'll give you the... Um, it can mean as well as. So I'm going to drink wine as well as vodka. Je vais boire du vin ainsi que vin du vodka. Um, I did it like that. Je l'ai fait ainsi. It can mean different things. So email me and I'll send you the video and all about that. So Cherry, give that get back to me. I want to hear a nice, clean, ça se soit passé, okay? Um, uh, lovely. I've got Troy next. The beautiful child on the photograph. So, Troy, you missed the last bit. I also wanted it hadn't happened. I wanted the second bit. So, Troy has got, I really wanted to do it last week. And although we were, we have talked about it before and I was supposed to sign up, it didn't happen. It hadn't happened. So, je voulais participer la semaine dernière. So, one of the best things for you, Troy, is don't think, oh, that is a female word. Don't fill your brain with that, guys. Just get used to la semaine dernière. Lock it in the muscle memory. Yeah, beautiful accent, Troy, but feminine word, la semaine dernière. And although we've talked about it before, pause. Même que, fine, but bien que, B-I-E-N, new word que, plus the subjunctive. So we spoke about it before. Well done, Troy, for realizing that that would need to be reflexive because we together... We together spoke about it. So we spoke, you and I in the past. We speak present tense, on se parle. We spoke past, on say parler. O-N-S apostrophe, yeah? E-S-T, parler, or nous nous, nous nous sommes parler. We spoke about it. You now need to bring Troy in the pronoun on, yeah? Yeah, on s'en est parlé. Yeah, or nous nous en sommes parlé. I'll just write those out for you. So, guys, that is when you use a reflexive past with on in it as well, which you're going to see in your ABC verbs. So, just practice saying that, all of you. We spoke about it. On s'en est parlé. So, we spoke to each other. On s'est parlé. Stick in the on. It's a pronoun. It goes after the so. On s'en est parlé. You guys spoke, spoke about it. Vous vous en êtes parlé. Vous vous en êtes parlé. All right? So, let's carry on. Uh, um, and I was supposed to sign up. Uh, so, j'ai dû is I have had to. I was supposed to is j'étais censé. C-E-N-S-E, acute. Yeah, j'étais censé. Sign up is a reflexive verb. 
So uh, to flash a sign, yeah, you can use an enseigne, but basically s'inscrire or s'abonner, both of which are reflexive verbs in the infinitive. Donc, j'étais censé m'inscrire, j'étais censé m'abonner. Yeah, it didn't happen. Sass lovely. Now, don't use the ne at the expense of the sur. So I'm loving what's happening with your consonants. Papa said that's really small and delicate. Don't make your consonants bigger than your vowels, guys. So that's a lovely voice, Troy. But the verb to happen, like speak to each other, is reflexive. So that happened, ça s'est passé. That didn't happen, ça s'est pas passé. And if you wanted to put the nut in for good grammar, ça ne s'est pas passé. So I would like you, Troy, to give me back fluidly with your beautiful accent. Je voulais le faire la semaine dernière et bien que... So, I missed a bit. I apologize. Bien que will give me the subjunctive. So we spoke about it. On s'en est parlé is going to become bien qu'on s'en soit parlé. You're going to have to make it reflexive and subjunctive and with the pronoun on. Yeah? So on s'en est parlé, on s'en soit parlé. Bien qu'on s'en soit parlé, I know. Welcome to the Big Boys Club. Um, I was supposed to sign up. J'étais censé m'abonner. J'étais censé m'inscrire. Ça s'est pas passé. Same as I was telling you, Cherry. You happen with ça. Ça s'est pas passé. And I also wanted it. Did it? It hadn't happened. Just to test you on the plus perfect. Ça s'était pas passé or ça ne s'était pas passé. So could you say all of that back to me, please, one more time, Troy? And I will give you your next up. All right, um, Troy. I think I've missed an e on your name, and I apologize. Lovely. Um, uh, Debbie, I've given you some work. Uh, Marcy, uh, I gave you something to do. I've not heard from Marcy yet. Um, uh, uh, this is from Gabe. Lovely. So instead of arriving 15 minutes ago, Gabe had just remembered that I'm online. Was it had just remem remembered? Did I give you had? Or has just remembered? I think I gave you have. Um, Oh, because I wrote H-A. All right, then if you said have, that's fine. But I wanted has, but I just wrote H-A. Gabe, I just remembered that I am online. I hope he enjoyed himself doing what he's doing before turning up. Good. So, au lieu d'arriver. Guys, so the word instead. If you use instead on its own, plus tôt, joined up, not separate, like plus and tôt, which is earlier. Okay. Plutôt, if you use instead with the verb au lieu de. Now, Gabe, well done, because you went au lieu de, arriver, d'arriver, and you corrected it, but get into the habit of thinking about your verb while you say the D. Au lieu d'aller, au lieu d'arriver, au lieu d'abonner. Well, no, au lieu, that would need, a, um, that would be just au lieu de m'abonner. Au lieu, au lieu d'envoyer. Get into the habit of doing that earlier, all right? Um, so instead of uh, arriving 50 minutes ago, uh, Lovely. Get your E higher. E, E, E. Au lieu d'arriver il y a 15 minutes, E, 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 e is up here. So, guys, the way you say ago is there are. So, 15 minutes ago, il y a 15 minutes. Gabriel had just remembered that I'm on that. No, 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 no. Gabriel had just remembered. No, I'm liking that very much. I wanted has, but let's talk about had. That was good. If you say, I have just done something, you are going to say, I am coming from doing something. If you say, I had just done something, as Gabriel's just beautifully demonstrated, you are going to use was coming. So yesterday, I had just finished the washing up. I was coming from finishing the washing up, okay? Je venais de finir la vaisselle. So I had just remembered. Now, with remember, for the moment, Gabriel, I would like you to push, 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 push with so, souvenir plus de. For the simple reason that se rappeler doesn't take de, although a load of French people use je me rappelle de, and it's wrong as fuck. It is so wrong. It's, uh, we really need to get on top of that. Really, seriously, the amount of people that say, alors moi je me souviens de, moi je me rappelle de. I remember my childhood, je me souviens de mon enfance. I remember my childhood, je me rappelle mon enfance. So get into the habit of using ce souvenir, Gabe, a little bit more than, so, uh, than, than happily, yeah, okay? So Gabriel, uh, venez de ce souvenir that I'm online. 
um, well, he had remembered that I was online, but he's just remembered that I am online because just he's only lovely. I hope he enjoyed himself doing what he was doing before turning up. So, j'espère qu'il a bien aimé is not a bad way around the problem. Well solved. But the verb to enjoy, yeah, is s'amuser. Yeah? So, uh, you're going to go, but how would I use enjoy and then a thing? So, possibly say, j'espère qu'il a bien aimé ce qu'il faisait. We don't say faisait, we say faisait. Or j'espère qu'il s'est bien amusé, reflexive. I hope he enjoyed himself whilst he was doing, you know, uh, or j'espère qu'il s'est bien amusé, lorsque, or on, uh, in, um, oh, uh, j'espère qu'il s'est bien amusé, uh, en faisant, in doing, en faisant, what he was doing, um, ce qu'il faisait, before turning up. Prison. Avant de se présenter. Let's look at the spelling, Gabe. Pré, pré, P R E. Yeah. Okay, so I would like with you, au lieu d'arriver il y a 15 minutes, actually, that was good enough. That was good enough, largely. Just remember, remember, remember. Um, se souvenir de. Yeah, for your next thing. Um, use a happily for to remind someone a little bit more. And, um, and that's good. So, Gabriel, I'm going to give you your next one straight away. I remembered that Luke had reminded me about it yesterday. Um, um, I am happy that uh, she reminded me. I am happy that I remembered them, the boys. I am happy that them the things. That's for Gabriel. Complete. Let's have a drop of water. Didi, I love your consonant and I like your R, but try and give me more vowel. Uh, uh, e. Blow the French onto me. Um, yes, you can say semis bien if you've only got a verb cherry. You can say semis bien if you've got a tense with no auxiliary. So je m'amuse. Lovely. Oh, the fucking connection. Please. Right, uh, back, all right? So, Cherry. Lovely. Uh, uh, so, Cherry, c'est génial ou c'est chouette que ça se soit passé comme ça. Lovely. Good. So, next one for Cherry. Okay, um, um, Luke is really pissed off that uh, YouTube is so difficult. The connection isn't helping. Uh, anybody to work? What should I do? I ask myself. God knows what I should do. That's for Jerry. Lovely. Mm. 
Why is somebody? No, 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 Sam, 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 Sam. I, 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 I'm not going to open a video. That's just going to kill my internet. Um, just send me a voice file, fellow. Just, just, just literally pre press, press, press the button on on WhatsApp and just send me, send me, um, press, press that. Just send me a voice. Yeah. Hi, Sam. Do it like this. I'm not going to download a massive file. Just send me the voice of it. Yeah. Sorry, Sam, to delete it, but it's just it will just kill the internet. So just 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 send me a voice file. Just hold the green button, appuie sur le bouton vert, talk to me, tu me parles, parle moi, and say it again. Yeah. Uh, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Um, Debbie, did you not get what I gave you? Did you not get... Speak English, Luke. Did you not get what I gave you? Um, I think Debbie's gone. Marcy. Right, so Marcy, Marcy, Marcy. Another one with a good, clear voice. Let's find Marcy's uh, work. Luke, what a pleasure to see you. I'm going to try to use all the tenses. Which ones? The ones you gave me last time. So lovely, il me fait plaisir would work in French, really, but quel plaisir, what a pleasure. Quel plaisir de te voir. I'm liking the little use of de, though. What a pleasure to see you. Quel plaisir de te voir. Yeah, what a pleasure. So here's the little bit of grammar that we need, guys. If you are going from a noun into an infinitive, you need a de. Or an adjective into an infinitive, most of the time you need a de, unless you're ending your sentence after that infinitive. So for example, as I was telling the lovely Mrs. Shaw, she's a very experienced lady. She runs a brothel in Leicester. Um, absolute, absolute, absolute hoe bag, but adorable, adorable person. Um, uh, uh, when the girls aren't on their backs working for her, she learns French. And so basically she, uh, I was explaining to her the other day that you can say, it's really easy to do. It's facile de le faire, or it's easy to do. C'est facile à faire. If you're going to end the infinitive after that infinitive, often you will use à. Otherwise, whatever. So it's a pleasure to see you. C'est un plaisir to see. Whoa, what got me up to the verb to see? I need the de. C'est un plaisir de te voir. I'm going to try to use all the tenses. Um, Lovely. Apart from the last word. Well done, Marcy. Je vais essayer d'utiliser tous les temps. So make sure when you're saying that, guys, that you focus on U for the U and U for the all. Just say that, all of you. I'm going to try to use all the tenses. Je vais essayer du, with the U, d'utiliser tous, with the O-U, tous les temps. Different sounds. Lovely. Les temps, Marcy, because you don't, you only say T-E-M-P-S. Okay. Um, lovely. Um, well done. Which ones? Lesquels? Your word for which, guys, if there's not a proper noun, there's not a proper noun. Boy, quel garçon? Which girl? Quel, uh, quel fille? Which ones? Look, I'm sorry, laquelle, laquelle. And you also use that when you, so you say sucre, those which. It, it, oh, the internet. Yep, so sucre rather than sucre. Those which sucre. Good, Marcy. Lovely. Lovely. So, Marcy, new work. Luke is happy with um, because I have improved. Clue, Marcy, it's reflexive. Luke is happy that. I have improved, which is reflexive and subjunctive because of the that, right? Um, my French is improving. I have improved my French. All of that, Marcy, will be using the verb améliorer and s'améliorer. 
Have a little think. That's for Marcy. Lovely. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, hi, Susie. You're not too late at all. Uh, lovely. So Susie's got, I've just taken a plane. Which one? The one. Pointy finger, pointy finger. The one you were talking about. That's for Sue. Give it me as soon as possible. Um, Troy, I'm gonna let me clear Marcy. We've lost Debbie with uh, a thunderstorm. Uh, but of it, so Troy, email me and ask me for the video on Trident. Just say to me, Trident. In an email, and I will give you the right, um, the right, uh, the right video. There's a really cute kid in your photograph. It's really, it's really cute. So uh, lovely. Um, yeah. So give me that. Send me that email. Um, uh, good. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What, what did I give you? Um, uh, right, so Troy, you use the subjunctive. We're using the subjunctive, it means supposed to, guys, is C E N S E acute. Nothing to do to do with buzzy. So there's no subjunctive on that, Marcy, uh, on, on that, Troy. That's just literally, j'étais supposé. I was supposed to sign up, j'étais censé m'inscrire, okay? Um, it didn't happen. Right. I think what you've got going in your mouth uh, here, Troy, is if you said before I signed up, firstly, the better French would be, and that's not what we're saying here, would be avant de m'inscrire, avant de plus m'inscrire. If someone else did an activity before I signed up, it would be avant que je ne me sois inscrit. Yeah, so it would use all kinds of grammar. And that's not what I've given you. So I wanted, you've heard me say it before, I'm not going to keep repeating myself, so I'm just going to give you another one. All right? So watch this class back, listen to what I gave you. All right? So uh, next one for Troy. Um, I should, should never have left him alone with all the cakes. I wasn't... Him. wasn't expecting that, but he finished them all. What a, uh, what a pig. Luke was heartbroken because he cannot eat them himself. Um, can I remind you guys at this point in time about my coffee link? My coffee uh, is uh, the link that people can treat me to a coffee, literally, for participating in the club. Um, it is the brainchild of my uh, mentor and uh, jester and uh, mascot, um, the prostitute I was referring to. Uh, earlier, uh, the, be the beautiful Mrs. Shaw, uh, but she basically said, Luke, I just think it's a really nice idea. People can treat you to a coffee for doing that work. Um, and joking apart, all jokes aside, I think it's a really nice idea. 
So I'm not asking you to pay for the videos. I'm not asking you to pay for me to refer you to videos. I'm not asking. I'm just saying if you find videos useful, if you find the free class useful, then like a $3 coffee would be appreciated. So uh, good. Lovely. So the link is on the screen and I'll pop it underneath. Or just message me about it, right? So now I love your voice. Right. So we've got uh, good. We've got Sam back. Lovely. Uh, Sam, I'm sorry that we didn't meet in the correct way. So let's go again. Pause, pause, pause. Now, a couple of things, Sam. Good bases, Sam. Some nice bases. Try not to talk French the way you talk English, which is with your mouth opening loads. Alors, moi, effectivement, je vais te parler en français. Tu n'as pas obligé en français d'ouvrir la bouche euh, de la même man manière. Quoi. Effectivement, alors là, je te parle en français comme si je parlais. Normalement, ma bouche reste largement fermée. You don't need to open the mouth when you speak French. You don't need to. There are Parisian receptionists. Tu as, oui, bonjour. Je, vous, je parle avec qui? Alors, monsieur, je vous le passe. Oui, mais that's not a normal voice. If I speak normally in English, I've got a really small mouth. Like, really. Um... I keep some stubble um, so that the mouth doesn't look as small. But if you look at my mouth, if you look at my, if you look at my nose and my nasolabial folds, my mouth falls smaller than within those lines. Yeah? My teeth are straight, so I'm kind of happy, but my mouth is tiny. So I open my mouth a lot in my teaching so you can hear me or clearly. Also, not everybody's first language English and not everybody is British in accent. But if I was talking English normally, even if I was just like, all right, then so I'm going to ring my mate Sam. Sam lives in Paris. Everything's kind of cool. Uh, do you know what I mean? I'm probably going to take him for a drink next time. Even if you look at me speaking English in a kind of normal sort of way, in a bit of a quick way, you still see me opening my mouth. You still see the teeth. Watch me in French. Okay? You don't do this. If you move your mouth too much, guys, it's ugly as shit. It looks like a dubbed Hong Kong martial arts movie. I will avenge my father. I will kill. It looks ugly. So keep your mouth largely soft. Don't need to see the teeth. Blow your... Like a, like a diffuser on a hairdryer. Does it look like I use an hairdryer? But it's blowing the air forward. So keep your lips a little bit closer. Oui, alors moi, je voulais te parler en français. Je voulais vous parler tous parce que vous êtes ici pour faire mes cours avec moi. Et c'est tellement plaisir de vous avoir et je suis bien content que vous, vous soyez venus. OK, you don't need to use your mouth in the same way. So, Sam, I'm sorry that we didn't meet in the correct way. Sam, if we met, you and I, we met your friend Dan. Yeah, we have met. Nous avons rencontré. We didn't meet is we didn't meet each other. So I'm sorry, that is going to give me the subjunctive. So je suis désolé que, because it's an emotion. If you don't quite understand that, guys, email me and ask for the subjunctive videos. Email me and ask for them. So we met is on s'est rencontré. Sam, be very careful. The verb is rencontré. It's an A verb. It's an ER verb. Rencontre, people always assume is the past or the, or the, or the verb because you're used to saying prendre. Vendre. The verb in the past is a rencontrer. So I'm sorry we didn't meet. So je suis désolé que we met normally be nous nous sommes rencontrés, which would be subjunctive. Nous nous soyons rencontrés, which would negatively would be nous ne nous soyons pas rencontrés. Or normal French, on se soit pas rencontré. Yeah, on se soit pas rencontré. Yeah, so negative and the reflexive past tense. Uh, de manière correct, um, du manière correct, lovely, that's fine, lovely. Well done, guys. The preposition we use with way, we can use façon or manière, both of which are feminine words. We use de. We do not say in a way. We do not say dans. Yeah. What way? De quelle manière? We don't freaking say dans for in what way. So good, Sam, there's some good stuff. But give me that again. No, I'll give you something else, but you can listen to it back afterwards. But now I will stop doing something weird. Let me listen to whether you got that totally right. Lovely. So, j'arrêterai de faire j'arrêterai de faire quelque chose de bizarre. Well done. Something weird. Quelque chose de plus adjective. 
I will behave normally before continuing to learn it. Lovely. Now, Sam, your grammar is pretty sound, but I need you to push your vowels, fella. Ooh goes more into an ooh. Ah is freaking higher. You're going ah prandre, yeah? Ah prandre, yeah, I'm talking British. Yeah? Ah, 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 higher. E, 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 higher. U, 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 higher. Euh, je suis désolé qu'on ne s'est pas rencontré de manière qu'on se soit pas rencontré de manière euh, correcte, mais maintenant euh, j'arrêterai de j'arrêterai de. I can't even read English. Let me make it bigger again. Control plus. Uh, control plus. Ah, I can see it now. Uh, I will stop doing something weird. J'arrêterai de faire quelque chose de bizarre. Bizarre. I will behave normally. Je me comporterai. Reflexive verb. Well done, Sam. Je me comporterai uh, normalement. Before continuing to learn it. Avant de continuer. Ah, now I'm not saying your stress is on the ah, Sam. You do very well to watch the video called which videos do, which, which videos. <laughs> Which um, words do we stress? Email me about that, Sam. Logiclanguagelearning at gmail.com, all of you. Uh, lovely. Any questions about uh, lessons? Any questions about videos there? Any questions about booking me for private tuition? WhatsApp. Um, so, yeah. So keep your app up in the air, Sam. It's passé. It's not passé. Yeah? So another one from Sam. Um, Luke is uh, thrilled that uh, uh, I remembered how to do it uh, the right way. No, to do it. Um, no, that, that, I have to do it. Um, before he leaves today, I am going to uh, talk to him about it so that we can talk about it, so we can talk about the things I need. That is for Sam. That's for Sam. All right? Onward. Uh, that's from Sam. Uh, Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, so you've just been given something, Sam. So that's good. So lovely, you've got some more work. Uh, my cherry amour. Luke is really pissed off that YouTube is so difficult. The connection isn't helping anybody to work. What should I do? God knows what I should do. So lovely. So make sure, Cherry, if your E eh is sharp enough, even in a blend of... I shall say that again. The technical term is brrr. Make sure your sharper vowels are higher. So, Luke est tellement énervé. Yeah, énervé. Yeah. Or, to be honest with you, you know, ça l'a fait tellement chier that pissed him off, you know. Um, uh, um, uh, but énervé. Peak on énervé. Make you eh, eh, eh. Because I just heard nervé. Yeah, so Luke est tellement énervé. Luke is pissed off. It might be a swear word or a curse word for the Americans amongst us. Um, um, but it's still an emotion. So Luke est tellement vexé, Luke est énervé que YouTube soit. It's still an emotion. If you don't know why we're using the subjunctive for an emotion, email me logiclanguagelearning at gmail.com. And while you're there, buy my ass a coffee on the coffee system. So, Luke est tellement vexé que YouTube soit. No, so difficult. Aussi difficile, tellement difficile, or conversation is si difficile. Okay? The connection isn't helping anyone to work. Well done, Cherry. How do we use the dictionary infinitive to help someone? Aide quelqu'un, not à quelqu'un, not à quelqu'un, aide quelqu'un, à plus verb. All right? Well done. So he helps me to work. Il m'aide à travailler. I help him. Je l'aide à travailler. I allow him to work. Je lui permets de travailler. So if you are a little bit unsure about what's going on there, 
email me and ask me for my video on dictionary infinitives and how to nail the shit out of prepositions with them, all right? Email me and say, hi, Lukey, I'll happily buy you a coffee. Here are, my, can I please have all the videos on nailing prepositions with dictionary infinitives, all right? Email me on the email that's in this link. So lovely, carrying on. What should I do? You've gone round the solution, Cherry, that's nice. Qu'est-ce que je devrais faire? So Cherry, I'm feeling you need the videos on would, should, could. Like the beautiful Beverly Knight song, woulda, shoulda, coulda. Beverly Knight, who is born in the same hospital, if I'm not mistaken, is Marcy and I were born in. Did you know that? Uh, um, uh, what should I do? Qu'est-ce que je devrais faire? God knows what I should do. Uh, but, but, but Cherry again, Cherry the same thing as earlier. What, when it's not a question, is not qu'est-ce que, it's ce que, isn't it? Je sais ce que je devrais faire. Yeah, so Luc est très vexé que YouTube soit tellement difficile, uh, aussi difficile. Uh, la connexion uh, n'aide personne à travailler. Qu'est-ce que je devrais faire? Dieu sait ce que je devrais faire. Okay? Um, could you just say that back to me, Jerry? All right? Okay, now, Sam. We met, we didn't meet, and we didn't meet. Sam has asked a very good question. Should I have used perfect or imperfect for we didn't meet? Okay? So let me tell you guys about this. And because this is a little lecture rather than marking homework, I'm going to look at the camera. Okay, so bit of color. Didn't is not a tense. Didn't just tells me that it's from the past and it's negative. What this means is that it's just the negative form of your normal selection of a tense in the past, which means here come the rules. When you listen to this shit back, make sure you go to, uh, hang on, how are we? Uh, how many minutes into it are we? roughly 54 minutes. So when you want to listen to this back, go to 54 minutes. Here's the rules for the past. If you use have, has, you use the auxiliary past. If you use was, were, or used to, with the exception of a few circumstances in the passive, was, were, used to, will always be in the imperfect. If you have a single praetorit verb, so I spoke, I went, cherry ate, um, Madame Shaw sold those. Your first choice is three. So with have or be or reflexive be in the middle. If you've got an argument for repetition, description, um, mental state, or after the word if, you will go with the imperfect tense. Or Sam, at your level, you need to use, and I got this on purpose, light bulb method. The light bulb method is if the light bulb turns on or off, you use the passé composé. If the light bulb stays on or off or flickers on or off, in other words, there's not one change, you will use the imperfect. So for example, if you said, I, um, what was Sam's question? I didn't, so I, so we met. That You can't hear have or has, you can't hear was, were, used to. So your first assumption is you're going to need to use the tense with the one, two, three. So on s'est rencontré or nous nous sommes rencontrés. You're going to need to use an auxiliary tense. Because there's a moment where it's like we didn't meet. We did meet. We didn't meet. That's just the negative of the light bulb going on or off. Ping, we met. If it were when I was little, Sam and I, we met at the doors to the school. Regular, regular, light bulb going on and off. So not one change, but many, that would mean, so unless there's one change on or off, you don't use the passé composé. So the light bulb on or off tense is the passé composé. Anything else is the imperfect. So um, we used to meet, on se rencontré. So if it's we didn't meet, so when I was little, we didn't meet at school because I'm old and Sam is young. On ne se rencontré pas because that would be imperfect. If it was last week, one action, negative or otherwise, light bulb on, light bulb off, we didn't meet on the s'est pas rencontré. If that's not clear, guys, email me and I will, t I will send you the videos on picking the appropriate tense in the past. 
Um, lovely. Uh, let's crack on. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Luke is thrilled. Did I give you thrilled? Let me, get, let me. Uh... So again, Sam, your vowels need work, fella. Luke is thrilled. Luke est ravi. Not Luca. I heard Luca. Luca. That's muscle memory as well. Your mouth is used to saying Luca. Luke est ravi que... Don't turd all over my French. I told you to use ce souvenir, didn't I? I told you to use ce souvenir as your go-to verb for remember. Did I not? So, Luc est ravi que je me sois souvenu de. Now, I remembered. You might go, oh, hang on, Lukey. Is it I remembered? Or is it when I was little, I remembered my tap shoes every Saturday when I was learning to tap dance. Je me souvenais de. Versus last week, I remembered. Light bulb on or off would be passé composé. So Luke is still that I remembered. Luke est ravi que je me sois souvenu. I'm using the reflexive verb, se souvenir de, the A, B, C verb. If you don't know what the A, B, C verb is or what that bloody means, email me, say, hi, Lukey Lou, love your classes. Can you Video, send me the videos on ABC verbs. And no, Lukey Lou, I don't think a coffee is too much to ask for. Um, da, 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 uh, how to do it. Before he leaves today. Lovely. So there's some lovely grammar there, Sam, and you've got it nicely. We just need to show up. You're speaking... I'm, I'm not selling my own wares. I'll leave that to Mrs. Shaw and her team of her girls. They're all very flexible. Uh, she tested them all personally. Uh, I really, really, really would love to give you half an hour of, of just some voice training. I really would. I'm not saying you're obliged to do it, but other people have benefited from it. Other people who I don't teach regularly, but they've just had half an hour. So if it's something you're serious about for A-level, WhatsApp me privately after the class not today in the week and say Luke I'm serious about that because with all the love in the world guys get your voice sorted if your voice is sorted your connection will be sorted if your connection is sorted your muscle memory will be sorted and you will stockpile and learn grammar and vocabulary at a rate you would have thought impossible